hello everyone welcome back another uh, another session uh, this series clean architecture so this session uh, will create you know we'll understand like what is domain layer domain layer and what are stuff need to implement okay in this domain layer and if you know about that green architecture so i'll especially recommend before to come this uh, series the second part you have to you know, check out my uh, my youtube channel and also i'll share this link to here like uh, how we can create that architecture okay so we'll, in previous session i already created the architecture okay now we'll talk about the domain layer okay so what is the domain layer so first we have to understand like what are the domain layer and what is the in this layer actually content so this layer represents the core business logic of the applications and it is depend of others layers and contains domain models entities interface and domain services so a little bit if confused so don't worry i will implement as well so that then definitely will clear everything okay so remove that one let's start to implement first we'll implement actually uh, our uh, domain entity okay so what is that our domain entity so create a folder and T and T is T is T is okay. So this is entities okay. and then create a one entity that called is blog blog okay. and then public okay. So whatever our properties we have to bring that like for example id okay that name also fine oh, sorry that name then description then author then finally you i think yes whatever property just domain you no know, learning prospect prospective so you okay sorry this could be a string then it is just get it a blank space line okay so this is done now second we'll create in this layer actually our uh, core business logic okay so now second it is our repository okay so uh, repository repository not like interface interface call as a interface okay so this interface actually will create a one repository okay so that repository actually uh, here that declaration only will keep it the declaration because this is a core logic will keep it then domain a core logic so implementation would be in our infrastructure layer so let's call i or let's call as an interface only and uh, i blog repository cs okay, so our repository is ready let's change it to public to you know in internal to public okay and then just you know some declaration method over here to get post delete okay so in the bring the code because this is a step forward step so i not writing or wasting our time or taking a this video too long okay so just you know simple the using task and list of the blog get all async task get by the id task created async task just return the id id and update and delete okay this is straightforward okay so this is done for this domain layer nothing we have to do over here okay so thank you for watching uh, this session and uh, please don't forget to subscribe we'll meet our next session we'll create uh, you know we'll implement actually the next layer would be our infrastructure layer okay so thank you have a nice day